Hello, welcome to English 3, Unit 10, Part 2, with Professor Neil and his TA, Yonghee. Hello, TA Yonghee's back. Yonghee's back. And we're back in North America in the Grand Canyon. And maybe we're going to go camping. Mm, that would be great. Are you excited about that? Yes. Okay, that's good. good. Camping would be lovely. That's what we're going. All right, so put the laptop away and let's get down to work. Yes. Oops, mm -mm. Scratch of the ear. Good. We're ready. Ready, ready, ready. No, stop scratching the ear. Okay, well, we finished the last unit with speaking one. And so we jumped onto the next page and we're going to start with speaking two here. Camping uh, alone. Camping, yes. Camping alone. Mm. Interesting. Camping is doing something with a tent. A tent. So Andy is planning a camping trip alone. That means by himself, by myself. Oh, by myself. Yeah, what wonderful. Take mm -hmm. turns announcing his plans and warning of possible consequences. Consequences are result. Bad results. Mm. Bad results. The possible bad. outcome. Yes, yeah, possible. A consequence are bad results from doing something predictive outcome yes so camping by yourself the idea is it's difficult it's difficult right? but but andy is determined mm -hmm. so he says i'll go camping by myself this is his plan good plan. for you but yeah. you could get lost yes so you notice here there's go camping go camping go camping all right if you've got a you've got b so a is Andy is Andy and B is someone else, his friend. So notice here we've got go camping. Go camping is his plan. So here his friend asked the question. So I'm going to ask the first question. Yonghee is then going to say the plan, and then she's going to ask me a question about her plan. And then I will give her what I think is the consequence. So, Yongi, or let's say you are Andy for a little bit. What is the plan? Mm, my plan. Let's go back to the example. All right. So I'm going to ask Andy here. What is your plan? Mm. And Andy will say, "I'll go camping by myself." Okay. And then there will be an extra question, which I'm going to add into the PowerPoint slide. What is the plan? I will go camping by myself. Yes. And you'll ask me the question. Uh, what is a consequence? Well, if you go camping by yourself, you could get lost. Mm. You might get lost. Mm. You will get lost. So could is possible, might is a bit more possible, will is like definitely, you, you will get lost. They are minions. Yes, and they are lost. Mm. The minions are lost. So we have this question, answer, question, consequence, plan, consequence. What is the plan? Mm, I will set up a tent by myself. Oh, even extra, yes, you will set up a tent. So here in the picture, all right, Andy has set up a tent. So you will ask me. What is a consequence? Consequence. 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 Well, a consequence of you setting up the tent is. You, you could break it. You could break the tent. You could break the tent. Mm, See, I know my friend always break everything. Yeah, so here in the picture, the tent breaks. He looks like a Professor Neil. Yeah, so that's a consequence. Consequence. What is the plan? Mm, I will build a fire. Mm, yes. What is consequence? You could start a forest fire. No. Oh. 
So yes, yeah, dangerous, dangerous. Mm. Be careful, be very careful. You don't want to burn down the forest. Not if you are in the forest. If you're not in the forest, it's okay. No, it's not okay. <laughs> but if you're in the forest, it would be a very serious consequence. The consequence could be that you would die, and that's the most serious consequence. I'm very sad. Yes. Mm. Right, so, what is the plan? Mm. Ooh, I'll pick berries. Are they blueberries? Yeah, so it's probably in Maine, in North America, or Chile. What is consequence? So a consequence is you could get sick, you might get sick, you will get sick if you pick berries and eat the berries. Why? So if you pick the berries, you probably won't get sick. But if you eat the berries, eat the berries, you might get sick because you might pick wild berries that are poisonous. Oh. If you pick the wrong berry. You have there, to be... are, there are poison berries too. I didn't know that. Yes. Or poisonous apples. Oh no, that's fairy tales. Different stories. The witch. <laughs> yes, the witch. Alright, what is the plan? Uh, I will go canoeing. Yes. What is consequence? So, a uh, consequence is you might drown. A bit serious. Drown? I mean, yes, if you fall in the water and you can't swim. Mm. So yeah, don't be. If you can't swim, don't go canoeing. So I, I think Andy's friend is a bit negative. Mm. Andy's friend is uh, giving him a lot of uh, precaution. Yeah. What is the plan? I will walk in the woods. What is? Consequence? Yeah, don't forget to say the article. Mm. Right. And so here, you could get bitten by insects. Zzz. Sound effect. Mm, okay. Right. You could get bitten by insects. Ah, ah, ah. Right, I just got bitten by an insect. Ah. But you can have, you just say, so you could get insects. Bite. Yeah, which is another way of saying it. Mm, you could get in the book. You can say you could get insect bites. Yes. You might get insect bites. You will get insect yeah. bites. So all these things are a result of camping alone. So maybe after reading this, you don't want to go camping, but you should go camping. Camping's fun, all right? But it should also be a so social experience. I would prefer glamping. Oh, you modern day people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do speaking three. Team fundraising. Team needs some money. Team needs to, the rowing team is trying to raise money, raise money, get money for a competition. Yeah, fundraising is uh, uh, collect some. Yeah, money. we did this in a previous unit. Mm. We did this in unit something before unit in the book. And so, yes, getting money to help the rowing team. You can see here the rowing team, the rowing team. Mm -hmm. So take turns asking each athlete uh, what she said she would do to help. Mm -hmm. What will Maisie do? She said she would create a website. Mm -hmm. She said that this is a relative pronoun because we learned the previous chapters. She said that she would create a website this is a combination of everything we learned yeah you uh, you could say she said that she will create a website mm -hmm. because you're repeating old speech mm -hmm. so both options here are okay mm -hmm. because she did say that mm -hmm. right. so like we got patricia here what will patricia plan patricia said she would plan a kids day also she can say she said she will plan a kids day yes. so you can delete that too yeah the reason you can say would here and will here because she said it here is because said has past tense 
say has past tense, but you don't need to say you, both options would be okay. What will Anna plan? She said she would write her letters for support. Oh. You can also say she said uh, I will write letters for support. Yeah, you you could say exactly what she said as well. She said comma. You said the quotation mark. And uh, she said comma quotation open quotation. I will write letters for support. Oh, close quotation. Very true. Very true. Uh, well, other options. How about Jinhee? Mm. No oh, question. Yes, <laughs> I was waiting for that. What will Jinhee plan? Uh, she said uh, that she would design a calendar to sell. Yes, the same pattern again. And the will option is another one that's acceptable too. But you can change the question a little bit. For example, what will Brenda arrange? You could be more direct. She will arrange a bake sale. Mm, that I prefer this one. Yes, because it's more direct. It's more direct. She said she will do it, so you re you're going to say she will do it. You don't like the would thing. So, what will Edith set up? She will set up a car wash. Mm, she will set up a car wash. What will Laurie organise? Mm, he. She. She will organise a rowing challenge. It's a very unique name to me. Mm -hmm. Laurie. That's a cool name. Cool mm. name. What will Violet sell? Mm. Violet is flower, isn't it? Yes, and a girl's <laughs> name. She will sell club t-shirts. Club t-shirts! See, so they're all doing their bit, trying to raise money for the rowing team. Alright, good. So maybe uh, when we discuss this in class, you can come up with some of your own ideas for fundraising. For fundraising. Foreign names are very difficult. Yes, Maze, Patricia, Anna, Jinhee. Oh, that's Korean. Brenda, Edith. Laurie and Violet. But it's okay because uh, Korean actors won the Oscar said uh, mispronouncing foreign name can be forgiven. Yeah, thank you Brad Pitt. <laughs> Did us all a favour. Alright, self-practice. Complete the short conversations with the past form of the modals in parenthesis. So do this exercise. I'm going to read some of them for you. So I'll read B. Yonghee, if you read A. I need a pen to fill out this form. So it says to use the pass form. Pass form this. I could lend you mine. Oh, why didn't you tell me? Mm. And next one, number two. I am worried about you. Okay. Sorry. I should call you more often. Number three, where's Gary? He might be in his office. Uh, number four, what would you do? I would wait for her. Can you switch to all? Okay. Professor Neil, you asked me a question. All right, number I will five. answer B. I want to try. Okay, with whom will you meet tomorrow? Uh, I should admit to it, the Chancellor. Do you think our friends miss us? They might think of us now and then. Is Christine at home? She could be. I'm not sure. I wonder whom they might choose. They would choose Anthony. Very good. All right, so we've gone through that quickly. That's what practice, if you're listening. Uh, we've got classroom activity. Which... Yeah, we can just explain briefly. So we got here thoughts about the future. Form a small group and discuss what you think will happen. Will happen in the future. So we say will happen. So it's like, do you think men and women will earn equal pay? 
and you're likely to say, yes, they will. No, they won't. That's all you're doing for now. Do you think extreme poverty will be eliminated? Yes, it will. No, it won't. So depending on the, the subject, whether it's plural or singular or this or that, you might have to change it. There are a lot of uh, fancy words in this exercise. Yes. Like, number three, do you think people will travel to other planets? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Our MP Squire can do. Yes. Mm, I think we've got... Ah, so here, we can just do some examples of Yonghee. Mm -hmm. Yonghee. Do you think men and women will earn equal pay? Mm, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, they will, but no, they won't. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, you, you, you said hopefully, hopefully, so you're not sure. You're not sure. We should. We should be. Oh, I agree. I agree. We should be, but very uh, unlikely yes. at the moment. Let's try another one then. Just one more. Mm -hmm. Do you think people will travel to other planets? Like Jupiter? Yes, yes. Okay. They will. Yes, they will. I say no, they won't. I don't think people will ever travel to other planets. I think it's impossible. I think very possible. Well, not in our lifetime. No matter what Elon Musk says, it's impossible. We can't even get to the moon. So, mm, I, I disagree with you, Professor Neil, but I have a belief in it. So, let's wait and see. Yes. Who knows about the future? Elon Musk. There you are, do you think? And it's op open to debate. Open to debate. You can debate this one. Uh, the other classroom activity uh, is dealing with things you would or wouldn't do. Yonghee, would you eat a snake? If it is necessary, I would. Okay. Would you go skydiving? I would. Definitely. Okay. So it's like, what would you like to do? And would you like to, would you like to eat a snake? Would you like to go st skydiving? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Mm, I would chase mouse. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, you're a cat. <laughs> All right, well, let's just quickly do this. Yonghee, would you like to go camping? Uh, no. no. Glamping, yes. Oh, but glamping, not, no. No camping. All right. Would you like to go canoeing? Uh, yes, it was fun, but not every day. Okay, would you like to earn equal pay? No, because I would like to earn more. Oh, doesn't fix the world's problems. <laughs> would you like to travel to another planet? Yes, yes, I would. Wh like which, which planet? Uh, Castillo. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that does the third, exist. Third moon to the right of the uh, Jupiter. Ma Jupiter, yes. Okay, a moon of Jupiter. That would be quite interesting. That would be quite interesting. Okay, after that fun, I like that one, but we can't uh, do it for now. We're going to do the listening. So, here we have messy room. Listen to the conversation between Kayla and her mum. Fill in the blanks with this exact words you hear. You will hear me reading A, and you'll hear Yonghee reading B. Would you clean up your room? I'm tired of asking you. I won't ask again. Give me a break. I'm on the phone right now. I'll do it after. No, you must, you should do it as soon as I tell you. I asked you to do it yesterday and now I'm fed up with waiting. Yesterday I was really busy. I couldn't do it then. Busy? Are you kidding me? You were texting on your phone all day. Okay, okay, I shouldn't say that. I was too busy, but may I please have a few more minutes? All right. When exactly might you start? Like I just said, it will only be a couple of minutes. It had better be. 
I shall be very angry if it's not done before noon. Before noon. Okay, so listen one more time. Listen one more time. Would you clean up your room? I'm tired of asking you. I won't ask again. Mom, can you give me a break? I'm on the phone right now. I'll do it after. No, you should do it as soon as I tell you. I asked you to do it yesterday and now I'm fed up with waiting. Yesterday I was really busy. I couldn't do it then. Busy? Are you kidding me? You were texting on your phone all day. Okay, okay, I shouldn't say that I was too busy, but may I please have a few more minutes? All right. When exactly might you start? Like I just said, it will only be a couple of minutes. It had better be. I shall be very angry if it's not done before noon. Oh, that's mummy. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, check the answers in the back of the book. Right, you have the book. Check the answers in the back of the book. Pronunciation. Well, we don't need to. We are not doing that one. That's again. You've got the listening. You can do pool or pool, full or full, soot or suit, look or look, stood or stewed, cook or cook, could or cooed, would or wooed, should or shooed, and practice those if you like. In your own time, practice pull or pull, fall or fool, suit or suit, look or look, stood or stewed, cook or cook, could or cooed, would or wooed, should or shooed. Oh, I did the pronunciation just like that. Ha. Oh, that asterisk with the, uh, the non-existing words. Yes, they're nonsense words. Nonsense mm. words. All right, the last thing we're going to look at, the reading and writing, and I'm going to give you an example to use, and it might come up in the speaking or writing test. So reading here, read the passage about Yoko's bad day. Write a similar passage about a bad day of your own. Yesterday was a... Oh, do I have a listening? Oh, see, it's going to be there in the in the example. So let me read it first for you. Yesterday was a bad day, and I will try harder tomorrow. I would really like everything to be more comfortable at work. Here's how my problem started. I couldn't hear the alarm clock in the morning, so I slept in. I missed the bus, and I arrived late at work. When I explained the situation to my boss, she wouldn't understand. She just said that I should be more responsible. I know that I should do better. I will wake up earlier tomorrow. I will put the alarm right next to my bed. I won't be late for another day of work. So that based on this example, you write about your own bad day. How did the bad day start? What could you do to prevent it, meaning stop it? What happened during the day? What should you do to change the situation in the future? And what would you do differently next time? So here is my example. Yesterday was a bad day. It started when I failed to hear my alarm clock. I woke up late and missed the train. So I was late for work and my boss fired me. I will set my alarm and wake up early next time. <laughs> that's one example. You can use that or you can write your own. And obviously that's going to appear in the homework. Mm, write down. Yes, yeah, so write down, take notes, pay attention. The last thing we have, grammar review. Uh, here they want you to fill in blacks with may or can. Like, can we still win? We are losing by a lot of points. May I be excused from the table? I am done eating. May I marry your daughter? We love each other. Could you tell me how to get to 47th Street unlocked? It would be better than can. As we said, we don't really like can because it's a bit impolite. Could we stay with you for but when you are really you while we are in town? They are desperate. You can say, can you tell me? Can you? Can you tell me? Okay, if you're desperate. Or can I marry your yeah. daughter? 
It was like it. May you help me? I need some advice. Mm. Mm. Can you help me? Not me. Nah, good choice. Mm. Can you help me? So there are a lot. Like when you really want it, right? So you want to increase the possibility level. Okay. You can say so can. Let's do the last one. Can I take a rest, boss? I'm really tired. Or may yeah. I take a rest? Both. Sometimes both would work. Yeah, exactly. On the so it's not necessarily permission or possibility. But if you use a can, yeah. you really want. Can they finish on time? The deadline's near. Good. So that's a B is going to be fairly similar. Make sure you put in the modals. C once again choose the right modals, but use can't or couldn't. And D, that's the last one. Put in the right verbs with your own information. After remember, Neil, uh, Professor Neil, uh, can you go back to the page? The, the sometimes the after the after the uh, model could or the after model the verb has to be always uh, stay in their original form. So I like a, for example, I could walk. So walk is the when I was enough. free. Yeah. I could talk when I was mm. free. I could read when I was free. Mm. So keep them in their base form. Base yeah. form. That is the one tip I would like to share because uh, I'm studying English too. Okay, good. Well, thank you, Yonghee. Thank you for uh, everyone out there listening at this point. That was Unit Ten. This is the end. That is the end of English Three. Bye. Bye bye.